Hi guys, Steffi from The Novelty Corner and today I have a spotlight haul and quite frankly I might as well call it an Amy Tangerine haul um, because aside from the two items on the very top of this pile everything else is from the new Amy Tangerine line Finders Keepers which I just love um, so let's get into it so I'm just going to really quickly go through these because these are ink pads um, and they are the Brilliant Scalloped uh, Brilliance Galaxy Gold ink and the Versamagic uh, Pink Petunia just because I needed a good pink ink stamp stamp pad. Oh gosh, I can't even talk. And I didn't have a gold one. Not one that worked properly anyway. So I may have gone just a tiny bit nuts uh, with the Amy Tangerine uh, line because the weekend that it was, or the week that it was launched at Spotlight, I also decided to have a really big sale where everything was 20% off and in Australia when scrapbook, scrapbooking supplies go on sale you buy them because they're exp really expensive otherwise. So there are quite a few things here. There is one item missing which I got a notification that it's shipped on Friday and that is the washi tape book. Um, so I don't have that here to show you but I do have everything else. So first up I got the new rotary phrase stamp and on the back you can see the different phrases and it and I've seen quite a few people rave about this one because it has a really nice clean font and it does um, with lots of really good phrases um, that you can use in all sorts of ways so happy to have that although I probably need to cut back on my rotary stamp collection because I've really got nowhere to store them um, I also picked up the um, printed uh, cardstock and acetate shapes um, and some of these do have gold foil on them, which is really cool. So on the back, you can see all the different uh, cutouts that you get in here. They're really cool. And if any of you have been watching any of my recent planner videos, you've seen me use some of these shapes to decorate my planner. So next up, this was a grab bag. And I wasn't quite sure what was in it. But I thought, you know, what the hell? I'm getting everything else. I might as well try this one too. Um, so what it basically has is some little cutout shapes. There's rectangles, I think there's a couple of circles and some triangles, and they've all got um, photos printed on them. So there's photos of palm trees and mountains and, also, and waves and all sorts of things, um, which is really cool. Next up is this uh, tiny, tiny word sticker sheet, and this is white on grey but it's also a little bit transparent um, so you should be able to see a little bit of pattern through it um, underneath that are some 4x6 uh, cardstock pieces um, which are really cool let's see pull these ones out so there's some wood grid and they're single sided um, this blue and yellow pink ombre like a cardstock and a green with white crosses which is really cool and then some stickers I'm going to have Amy Tangerine Finders Keepers stickers for days um, I also picked up two packets of the enamel heart stickers um, and the Finders Keepers stamp set which you know is sort of really travel themed and I don't tend to do a lot of travel themed things but I really like this small world stamp. I just think it's good to have one of those in there because, you know, people, I live right down here, away from the rest of the world. <laughs> it's kind of difficult to find a good world stamp that's usable because I don't have, I don't do really big um, stamping spreads, so that's kind of cool. And I really love Amy's um, handwriting for Finders Keepers and Hello There. And here in Australia, we have a really fantastic market called the Finders Keepers Market. Um, and I always take photos when I'm there. So I've got that um, specifically for when I go to those markets. So that's really cool. Um, I thought these were really cute. So these are super tiny doilies. And these are the four different patterns that you can get on the back. Um, and I can already tell that I'm going to have to go through with a pin to poke out most of the tiny little die cut pieces um, but you know traditional doily sizes are quite frankly huge in a project life layout so these are really cute and will make a great detail um, so again 
when I was talking about having stickers for days, I bought two packets of these puffy stickers, uh, mostly because of the giraffe. Um, if you follow my YouTube channel, you'll know that I can take or leave pineapples, but the giraffe, the camera, and the hearts own me, really. Let's just be honest. Um, I have one pack of the rub-ons, and I'm determined to use these rub-ons before they stop working, which is what happened with my last set of Amy Tangerine uh, rub-ons. I also picked up the faux dimensional thickers, which are really cool. They're kind of, I've got a craft stocky wood grain base with color highlights. So they'll be kind of fun to use. They're not super bright colors, so I think they'll be very easy to integrate. Oh, let's turn it over. And I also got the puffy letter stickers. And I love how many letters are on here. Look at all the H's. Lots of E's. I don't know why there's so many H's compared to E's. Let's have a look. It's O's. Fabulous. Okay. So I also picked up the regular stickers. And I think these ones are clear stickers. Let's see. Yeah, clear stickers. Ooh, we're going to slide it underneath the tripod. Um, I'm actually going to be using these, specifically this and this, maybe this, and the stars, um, in my planner layout for this week. Maybe the bike too. In fact, I'm pretty much going to use all, something. Everything I use in my next planner layout is going to be from this collection. So, And I also, because I couldn't help myself, got the 6x6 and the 12 by 12 um, paper pad collection. Um, I don't actually tend to buy a lot of 12 by 12 paper pads anyway, so I don't have a huge amount of large cardstock, but I thought that would be fun. Let's open this up, shall we? I'll open up the 6x6, but I think the papers are pretty much the same um, for both pads. If not, you can sort of see on here colours while I argue with this sticker. I was really good and I didn't open things. So now I'm arguing with stickers while trying to film. That wasn't clever on my part, but okay, there we go. So there are some cut apart sheets, which are really cute. Can't wait to cut some of those apart and use them. I love this. I, if you follow me, you know I love lemons. Anything with lemons, I'm good. The cameras are really cute. Another cut apart sheet. These houses are really cute too. Um, not sure how I'll use them. I really like this pattern. More cut aparts. This is a beautiful floral pattern. Just love that. Um, pencils. I'm a teacher. Pencils. Love it. And I love that every pencil has some, says something a little bit different. So there's pretty, there's brilliant, genius, chill, hooray. This heart pattern is really cute too. So I don't know if you can see that um, really clearly, but it's sort of a ready orange heart, some pink hearts and black hearts of the top. Um, looks like these are some two by two. No, must be one and a half inch by one and a half inch. Um, cut aparts, love this watercolored handwriting. The leaves, very gorgeous. Love these dots and the bikes and some triangles. And I think we're back to the second sheet of each pattern. Um, and then that repeats obviously in the bigger one, only in a much larger print. Oh, and there's a wood grain in here. So there's 36 papers in the six by six and there's 48 in the 12 by 12 so yeah so this one wasn't in the other one the wood grain uh, I don't think the scissors oh no the scissors were in the other one just trying to think anything else that I missed and I think some of these plain coloured ones as well 
which is cool. So that is everything that I picked up in my little spotlight haul. And I actually ordered these from this online spotlight store, which I've never done before. Um, and it worked out really, really well. Um, so thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments bar below if you have bought anything from this collection or if you've created any projects using this collection. I'd love to see them. And until next time, I hope that everyone has a lovely weekend. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.